power. I don't know how Dixon's going to stop Montoya this time. There's Emma Dixon. The outside move, Montoya on Dixon for second. All right, clear. <laughs> that was a surprise clear from the spotter. Yeah. Oh, you made it. Smokes. You made it. Yeah. Three laps to go after this one. And that really cost Dixon a lot of ground and momentum. Here's Montoya with a full run on low power for the race lead. Work together here. He's cleared it. I think he decided, Eddie, it's time to go. Yeah, but I don't know if that's the right place. Here by five. Montoya was 30th. Look at Dixon. He lost third place to Charlie Kimball. That moment cost uh. Dixon third place and a shot at fighting these two for the win. And Montoya's driving away. Five miles is a lot of distance, the way this draft has been working today. And here they come. The final two laps, five miles at Indianapolis. Juan Pablo Montoya leads. Four. Power is second. Charlie Kimball third. Scott Dixon for Next time is the white flag. And Power is back in his toe. Montoya is trying to break the toe by going to the bottom part of the track and then back up to the high part. And right now will be a Penske win unless these two guys take themselves up. And who's behind you? Two yep. Ganassi cars. The white flag is waiting at the yard of bricks. And we enter the final lap white flag. of the Indianapolis 500. Kimball has caught up to power. One lap to go. Who's going to win it? Power slipped in turn two. Justin Wilson just came off the pit lane. He and Munoz had to stop for fuel. Final two corners for Montoya. <laughs> he was all the way back in 30th place after the Lions crash. Here they come to the checkered flag. And the winner of the Indianapolis 500 is Juan Pablo Montoya. <laughs> Unbelievable.